Our motoring tip of the week concerns direct fuel injection. Now at Hyundai and Kia, they refer to this system as GDI or gasoline direct injection. But you'll find that most manufacturers as they evolve their designs are moving towards direct fuel injection because there's some huge inherent advantages to it. Now on this brand new Kia Rio with a 1.6 liter gamma engine, we have an electric fuel pump back in the tank that can deliver as much as 72 PSI of fuel pressure up to the engine. But the heart of this system is right here, the high pressure fuel pump. On this car, it's driven off the exhaust camshaft of the engine. Here's the inlet line coming from the tank, an electric pump brings fuel up to the high pressure pump and the high pressure pump produces over 2000 PSI down to the injectors. And that's where the name direct injection comes from. We're injecting fuel directly into the combustion chamber. Some of the advantages, well in this particular engine, up 14% on horsepower from the previous generation 1.6 engine, up 10% on torque, lower exhaust emissions. The engine also gets up to closed loop operation, which is where the catalytic converter and oxygen sensor are up to 350 degrees Celsius. The old engine took 30 seconds to get there at 20 degrees Celsius ambient. This one gets there in 11 seconds. And that cold start mode of operation on all engines is quite a dirty mode of operation. So the quicker you can get to closed loop operation and the 18 or 19 seconds they've saved with this system is huge in terms of efficiency and in terms of engine cleanliness. Keeps your oil cleaner because the engine's burning clean and efficiently. So the tip here is this. You've got your short list of vehicles that you're shopping for, be it car, truck, SUV, minivan, whatever. Add direct injection to your shopping list. And if you find that out of four vehicles on your short list, one or two have direct injection, as far as I'm concerned, those two go to the top of the list. Better fuel economy, better performance, cleaner running engine with no downside. What else do you need to know? It's your motoring tip of the week.